Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Adventure SG. So let's do another interesting word problem on whole numbers. Uh, for that, let's read the question first. Mrs. Lee packed and sold cookies in big boxes of eight and small boxes of five. At first, there were twice as many small boxes as big boxes. She sold half the number of small boxes and some big boxes. She had 320 cookies left in all these boxes. The number of cookies left in the small boxes was three times the number of cookies left in the big boxes. Find the total number of big and small boxes Mrs. Lee used to pack all the cookies. So it's a really very very long and wordy question. Okay, but if we read it once again, let's read it once again and start uh, imagining uh, uh, how the things were. Okay, so let's say Mrs. Lee. She what she sells is she packs a cook she packs her cookies into two kinds of boxes, big boxes and small boxes, right? So let's say this is my big box, okay, big box, and this one is my small one, okay, small one. So this one, the big all the big boxes, how many cookies? Eight, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And how about the small one? They have only five, right? So one, two, three, four, and five. So this one is the big one, okay, and this one is the small one, right? Now, initially, at first, there were twice as many small boxes as big boxes, right? So that means uh, if, if there are, let's say, uh, five big boxes, then the number of small boxes will be 10, right? Because the number of small boxes is more is twice as many as number of big boxes so let's say if there are five big boxes at first then there would have been 10 small boxes right so that's just an example i'm not saying there are five big boxes or 10 small boxes just an example to understand now uh, she sold half the number of small boxes then what happened she sold half the number of small boxes and some big boxes okay so we know she had sold half the number of small boxes so for here for this example right if 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 there were 10 boxes and she has sold half of them then obviously how many were left only five right and some big boxes we don't know how many she sold so we don't know right now uh now after selling right these boxes the number of cookies left in all these boxes all these boxes means obviously uh, for this example let's say there were five small boxes left and few big boxes left we don't know how many few uh, how many big boxes there left right but the total number of cookies if you count in those boxes adds up to 320 right and the number of cookies left in the small boxes was three times the number of cookies left in the big boxes there is one more information that let's say if there are five boxes small boxes left right then the cookies in these five boxes right were three times okay the cookies left in these leftover small boxes were three times as the number of cookies left in the book boxes okay so this is all what we have i hope with this explanation uh, you guys uh, have at least some picture of what's going on right so how to do this question right so i think the best way to handle this question is to to start going backwards right how how backwards like from let's use this information at first right that the number of cookies left in the small boxes was three times the number of cookies left in the big boxes right that means if the number of cookies in big big box is one unit let's say let's say it's one unit then the number of cookies left in the small boxes will be how many units it's three times right so it should be three units right so let's start from here let's start writing our solution okay so um, number okay number of cookies uh, let's start with the big one first okay cookies in big boxes in big boxes in big boxes uh, right at the end or we can say the number of cookies left 
left in big boxes is let's say one unit then then we can say uh, number of cookies left in small boxes will be how many units small boxes will be how many units is obviously three times right since it's three times it will be three units right and we know that the total number of cookies left in all these boxes was 320 right so in terms of units what what is the total number of cookies left in all these boxes so the total number the the total number of cookies left so the total number of cookies left in terms of unit is very straightforward it's one unit plus another three unit is four units right and we know that this four unit should be equal to 320 right because the total number of unit uh, cookies left uh, after selling a uh, few boxes of small and big one were 320 so we can say from there that four units is equal to 320 so how about one unit one unit will be 320 divided by 4 that will give us 80 so basically if you if you observe keenly you see here the number of cookies in the big boxes at first was one unit that means the number of cookies left in big boxes was 80 right now from this we can also find the number of cookies left in small boxes right so the number of cookies cookies left in small boxes will be how many try to calculate it yourself so it will be three unit obviously and which will be equal to three times 80 which will give me 240 cookies right that means the number of cookies left in the small boxes were 240 so from this we can calculate how many small boxes were left how because we know that in each small box there are five cookies right each small box contains five cookies and and since we know the number of cookies left in uh, all the number of cookies left in the small boxes if you divide this by five you'll get the number of small boxes left right so the number number of small boxes small boxes left will be how many will be 240 divided by 5 right and that will give me 48 that means and after selling half of the small boxes there were 48 boxes left so how many small boxes were there at first right so half since half were sold right and we know it's 48 so the number of small boxes at first should be twice of this amount right twice of 48 so let's find that how much it will be okay so the number of small boxes small boxes at first at first would be how much it would be 48 times 2 which is equal to 96 right so the number of box small boxes at first were 96 right now we have to find we also need to find out how many big boxes were there at first right so uh, we, we know that at first the number of small boxes were twice that of the number of big boxes right the number at first the number of small boxes were twice that of big boxes so from here we can easily calculate 
the number the number of big boxes big boxes at first okay so how many it will be i just told you they were half of the number of small boxes at first so that should be 96 divided by 2 that will give me 48 okay and you can directly get it from here because we got 96 by multiplying 48 times 2 right so in place of doing this you could have directly written 48 right so what was the total number of boxes small and big boxes so total total number of boxes that includes both right small and big would be 96 plus 48 and that will give me 144 right so let's write our final answer quickly Okay, so the question was find the total number of big and small boxes Mrs. Lee used to pack all the cookies. So she used uh, 144 big and small boxes. So our answer is 144 boxes. Right, so that's the solution of this question. Hope you liked it. Keep watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.